How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a good one. I'm actually gonna do two projects, two DIYs on my 2018 F80 M3. I do have a couple parts here from IND Distribution, color matched reflectors for the front to get rid of this ugly orange, as well as a color matched keyhole delete on the driver's side door. So let's get on to today's video. Here are the parts from IND Distribution. So once again, color matched reflectors for the front bumper. And I also do have a keyhole delete, so this will be later in the video. I'll talk a little bit more about this modification. But for the, the reflectors, we're basically going to just get rid of these ugly orange ones that uh, come with the US spec cars. And so you do have other options other than color match. I've seen guys that do black. I've seen guys that just vinyl wrap these. They also make clear, I believe. Me, personally, I like to do color matched. I did color matched on my F3335 and I think it just cleans up the whole look of this. Uh, my buddy actually has a Grigio Telesto as well, and his are kind of like a smoked reflector instead, and actually his look pretty pretty good too, so that's also a really good option. Um, these reflectors, I believe, are around $80, something in that ballpark from IND Distribution, and once again, they are color matched to the paint on the outside of the car. So i um, going to be putting those on today. These are the tools that you're gonna need basically in order to do this modification. Um, we don't need to take the wheels off. We just need to turn the wheels either left or right depending on which side we're working on. That way we can get our hand back here to the wheel well. And behind there, there are three eight millimeter screws that we need to remove. So I've got a little ratchet here with a little eight mil. Um, and then we do have a heat gun because basically around the perimeter, is adhesive so the even the, the stock bmw ones have adhesive that go all the way around this so what we need to do is heat up the area and then pry this off slowly i also have this little pry tool here from ind that i've gotten in the past and so we can actually slip this behind and try to break it free once you kind of break it free in one corner the rest of it comes off pretty easily and then other than that um, you might need some sort of cleaner in order to remove the extra glue or i'm sorry the extra 3m tape that's back back there other than that just a little microfiber towel and you're good to go all right so first things first what we need to do is after you turn the wheel we're going to start on this passenger side first so turn the wheel as far as you can to the left and then what you want to do there are three eight millimeter screws one here one here and one up here Additionally, you do want to be careful if you do have these cameras here and parking distance control sensors, you don't want to you know, pull all those wires out. So just be mindful of that when you're doing this. But basically what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to have access right behind the reflector itself. So I just want to remove all three of these eight mils. All right, so we've got those three off. So now, to be able to pull this back with your hand so there is a little tab right here on the bumper that you need to be mindful of when you're pulling this out if you have those sensors there we go just like that so here are your parking distance control sensors as well as the cameras and directly behind it we should be able to access the reflector itself. All right so at this point what we need to do is heat up the surrounding area. Just be careful when you're using a heat gun especially if you've got a really strong powerful one that puts off a ton of heat. You do not want to bubble the paint and if you're like me I've got paint protective film on the outside here so I don't want to damage that as well. So just a low heat and we're just gonna do the surrounding areas here just to get it warmed up and kind of heat up the adhesive, the tape. So I've got my pry tool here. I've heated up the area. Again, you don't wanna to get too close to it. Um, one thing that I would say is helpful is if you pull this back here, when you're flexing on this, you're pushing this in. And when you're doing that, you're kind of flexing the bumper. So you can stick your hand back in here and kind of help support 
the bumper at the same time. So you see I heated mostly this corner and it's already getting loose. So I might not even need the pry bar. There we go. Just gotta be patient. There we go. Pretty simple to do. Just like that. So it pops off, but the adhesive is still back there. As you guys can see, it left majority of the adhesive on this side, but uh, the tape did come off on the other side. So pretty good, not too bad. And we do wanna make sure we clean this whole area as well. Um, but so I am going to basically take my finger and roll the tape off. Try to get it in a couple pieces at least. Um, because you want to make sure you've got a nice clean area when reinstalling the new reflector. Then you want to take a microfiber towel and clean behind here. Make sure that you don't have any dirt in the way. Just like so. And make sure once again that you have all of the tape, the old tape off of there. All right, nice and neat, looks good. And my car is also clean, so get my fingerprints off of here. So putting the new reflectors on is much easier than taking the old ones off. It's just peel and stick basically. So here's a comparison, comparison of the OEM versus the new. And so these are indicated on the back side. You'll see that this one says R for right side. So make sure that you've got the right side one. And everything from IND is going to be OEM parts. So this is an OEM BMW reflector that was sanded and painted, custom color matched to Grigio Telesto. So what we need to do now is, since this is painted, they do tape this up on the back side to protect the paint, or to protect the tape, the adhesive. So we just need to remove that and expose the new tape. So I'm going to pull this off just like this. They make it very, very easy for you when doing this. So if you just pull this off, here is all of the exposed adhesive, the tape. So <clears throat> what I like to do now is I do like to kind of heat up this area a little bit. I like to do a little post heat or preheat and post heat just to activate the tape. So I'm also going to do that here on the reflector itself. Just a little bit of heat, nothing crazy. This is pretty strong stuff. so not gonna come off when you're driving. And then you can pull the wheel well back and just be very careful when reinserting. That way you don't scratch up your new paint as well as get dirt all over your tape. So. Bring it on down in here and then kind of just line it up. So, 100% OEM fit. And then we just want to push down on this firmly. Make sure that the tape is adhering to the plastic. Pretty simple. And then, like I said, a little bit of heat, post heat. And then we can reinstall our three eight millimeter screws. All right guys, so simple as that. After you get that back on, put your three eight millimeter screws back in and clean up your fingerprints and you're good to go. So this side is complete. We can go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna do that off camera. Very, very simple, obviously. Uh, just repeat the same process. 
Finally, just to show you what the completed driver side looks like. So, there you go. Now we can move on to the keyhole delete. So this is the OEM keyhole, obviously, on the driver's door. This is the IND keyhole delete cover. So we're basically just removing the locking mechanism. I think it just gives it a much cleaner look and this is kind of an eyesore on this whole side of the car. And so by removing that, we eliminate and make it look a little bit cleaner. I will say the risky thing about doing this is if you've got an old battery or terrible battery life, you may not want to do this modification because if your key fob stops working, you're going to have a harder time getting into the car. And so, um, you know, you do have a manual key with your key fob. And so if you remove this, you kind of are limiting your options on getting back into the car. This is going to be a quick and easy modification. If you open the driver's door, you'll see that right directly behind the keyhole is this little black cover piece. So you just want to take your fingers or a little pry tool and just pull this little rubber grommet off. It's basically just a little weather gasket. And so behind here is an Allen. And so we just need to find the right Allen key and we will unscrew it and it will release this entire piece. So the little Allen screw is right there. So I'm using a, I believe it's a 5 seconds inch Allen. Just want to unscrew that. And you don't have to worry about this screw falling through the hole or anything. It actually doesn't come completely out. It just unscrews and then stays in there. So just unscrew it until it doesn't unscrew any further. There we go. And so BMW designed it that way the screw actually stays in the hole and you don't drop it down in the door panel. So at this point, what we can do here is we just need to pull the actual cover off. Uh, just be mindful that there is, you know, the comfort access light underneath here, but you pretty much just need to grab it like this, give it a little wiggle, and the whole locking mechanism comes out just like so. Just a quick comparison of the two. So it's basically the same exact piece, just without the giant locking mechanism on the back side. And then just to show you guys a little bit closer of what the screw looks like. So like I said, the screw just stays right in the hole, doesn't go anywhere. And so it doesn't drop behind you know, the door panel. And so you'll see on the actual new keyhole delete piece, there is some threading right here. So you just need to go ahead and line this up. And again, be mindful of the comfort access piece, the light. So this should just pop right into place, just like that. And then we can go ahead and re-tighten our screw. And again, it'll just thread right in. So all you really need to do is put this in here and then put one hand on the keyhole delete cover, just so it doesn't fly out. And this will thread right in, no questions asked. There we go. And that's how it looks. All right guys, so there you go. OEM fit and finish, OEM paint job, looks good. Also, don't forget to put your rubber grommet piece back in. This should just pop right into place. Done. All right guys, so pretty quick and easy install for both of these little modifications. They are, you know, little minor details, but to me, all those little minor details all add up, especially on the front end. Cleaning up the front without having those stupid, ugly orange reflectors makes all the difference. I wish the US DOT didn't have that kind of requirement, but we do. So um, in an ideal world, if I had endless funds, I would have the whole bumper removed, have those completely filled and resprayed and just the, you know, make it look like it wasn't even there to begin with. But um, this is a much cheaper and easier option to do that. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about the reflectors or the keyhole delete cover, please let me know in the comments below. Again, these are from 
from IND Distribution. Links will be in the description if you want to purchase a set of these. We've got lots of content for you guys coming along the way. The F80 M3 is making good progress, so I'm gonna keep going with that. So if you guys have any comments, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.